granddad um, used to bring him, bought him his season ticket when he was three, but he was really scared of the noise. And so we, um, we used to bring him, but he used to fall asleep. Uh, a couple of minutes into the game, he'll sleep. So I always carried a blanket, of which I still carry a blanket up to now. His granddad um, took him, even though he was um, a gentleman who was born here in Croydon, he was white, but that color never showed. He was granddad to Ethan from the day he was born, and they had a very strong bond. I have been looking after Ethan since really when his mother was pregnant with him. Support that comes from social services stopped at the age of five. So Ethan used to go to school uh, late and unkept, not having been bathed or fed. I offered at that point myself and my husband to put in a special guardianship request to social services which had to be done through the courts. We applied and whilst it was still in process, in, in, in progress, my husband died. Uh, he had um, lung cancer so he died at that point. When he was dying all he wanted, he was requesting for was Ethan to be there. He asked me to say, can you continue to take Ethan to football? Because himself, he had been supporting Crystal Palace for about uh, 56 years by the time he died. He started coming here when they were still standing up around the ground. Um, and on his seat, when these seats were put up in the homes they were in, him and his friends paid for their seats and they got their first season tickets to bring Ethan to football. I promised him that I will do. Um, and that's why you find I'm here all the time with him. It's lovely. It just fulfills, I'm sure, where my husband is. He's very happy to see that. Uh, Andrew sounds and shirt is framed um, in his bedroom. And um, I'm going to request if um, the new shirt he got on Saturday can be signed as well, then I can frame it for him. And how do you tell him off when he's got such a cute smile? <laughs> um, I look at him and he knows what that means. <laughs> <laughs>